Welcome back to our channel. It is the day after Thanksgiving, but I have pushed off to the very last minute meal planning. So as you can see, today's the 27th and I have nothing else planned. I need to stop everything, everything that I'm doing and get this meal plan done. I'm gonna take you along with me so you can see my process. I am a self, or I should say, I used to be a self-proclaimed domestically challenged. However, in an effort to talk nicer to myself, I have determined I'm not domestically challenged. I just value time doing other things like spending time with my family, homeschooling my kids, playing in my craft room. I don't wanna spend my entire life cooking and cleaning. So in an effort to make my life easier, I have created systems and this happens to be one of them, my meal planning system. If you don't know, I am doing Weight Watchers, so meal planning helps me stay on track. It also helps us stay in budget each month and keeps us from overbuying. And it also, if anybody wants to know what's for dinner or lunch, they know where to look instead of ask mom. And it also is helpful because Steven is really great about swooping in and helping me in the kitchen. And he actually cooks quite a bit for our family. So I do all the planning and grocery shopping and he knows what to do. So let's start the meal planning process. plan about two weeks at a time. Um, I find that planning any more of that, things get out of whack, plans change, and so it really throws me off and I end up having to replan again anyway. You wanna say hi, Eric? Say hi. Planning two weeks probably only takes me 20 minutes start to finish, and like I said, it is well worth my time planning out meals. So the first step I do is I take inventory. I look in the fridge, I look in the freezer, pantry, and I see what I already have. So we'll do that now. Starting in the fridge, I see that I have some pie crust here left over that I need to use, so I'll probably plan a chicken pot pie. Then I look down in here in my rotter. Unfortunately, it looks like, ugh, my cauliflower didn't make it. Also use this time to clean out the fridge. So I have some lettuce. I have a Caesar salad kit that's on its way out. And some zucchinis I can grill up as a side. I've got lunch meats for lunch. In here, looking pretty slim, but I have these breaded tilapias that I need to use up. They've been in there a while. I have this freezer meal. It's a chicken Alfredo, something or another. Usually I write what it is, and then I need to add to my shopping list lots more veggies. Ooh, and here's an open bag of meatballs. We can plan a lunch around that. Breakfast, some turkey. My fridge is a little dirty. I probably could have stood to clean that. But, you know, this is real life. This is our outdoor freezer. I just start going through, I take notes. We do Friday night pizza night, and it looks like I am good on frozen pizzas, corn dogs for lunch chicken sandwiches if you haven't had these ooh, they are like chick-fil-a's chicken sandwiches they also have the chicken nuggets you can find both of them at sam's club all right i have a taco soup ready to go i have a spaghetti sauce back there some sausage some more pie crust i'll use those for the chicken pot pies as well i have a freezer shepherd's pie. I have some veggies. Looks like I'm good on corn. I've got tons of corn. My goodness. Okay, note to self. Ooh, crispy tacos. That will be for taco night. I've got some homemade pizza bread. Keep on hand. That's a great lunch. If you saw our camping video, we made homemade pizza from that video. Camping. Lots of ground beef. 
we were fortunate enough to buy a half a cow. So we have all of our beef and steak and all that good stuff. Ooh, pork chops. And then I believe I have a white fish somewhere. Ooh, there's some fresh Atlantic cod. I have a recipe I want to try with that. All right, I think that gives me a good starting point. So let's go back right. to the calendar. Hopefully you can see this okay. If you're wondering where I got this calendar, I found this one at Home Goods or TJ Maxx, something like that. You can find some pretty cute ones out. It helps with the meal planning process, you know. So once I have an idea of what's in our inventory already, I'll go ahead and start plugging in the meals. So on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, we typically have the same thing. Tuesday is taco night, Friday's pizza night, and Sunday is Sunday night steak night. So that helps plan. So I'll go ahead and plug those in. All right, Tuesday, I have those frozen crispy tacos. So we'll do those. We serve that with black beans, sliced avocado, and all that, and the kids really enjoy those. You can find those crispy tacos at Sam's. I get a lot of stuff from Sam's. So if I don't mention it, chances are it's from Sam's. And then pizza. And because we have pizza, and that's a high point meal, I try and make a low point meal for Weight Watchers for lunch. So I will do grilled chicken and veggies for lunch. You will see that quite a bit. So that's one way I work in my indulging meals. On Thursdays, I try and do a fish meal and my friend Courtney sent me a recipe for a white fish. I will try and find that. But it looks so good and it was a Weight Watcher meal, so we're gonna put that on there. I'm gonna put that cod there. I also have stuff to make chicken pot pie. I have enough to make two of those. Sorry, Eric's playing over here. Chicken pot pie and I'm gonna do times two because I always like to make double and put one in the freezer to have that for another day. Let's see, Sunday night steak. Um, I'll do egg salad sandwiches on Saturdays. I do those on hoagie buns. That's always a crowd pleaser. And I need to add sub rolls to my shopping list. All right, I also saw that I had some pork chops. We'll do that on Sunday for, I mean Saturday. Sunday, we'll do some meatballs for lunch, potatoes. When I'm feeling very uninspired, I tend to refer back to what I've done in the past and that kind of gives me some ideas to mix things up because I'm not the most creative in the kitchen and I'm one of those people that can eat the same thing every day. So looking up here on Monday, I had some sausage. So we'll do sausage roll-ups and tortillas. I know I have tortillas in the fridge. I have that shepherd's pie in the freezer. So we'll put that for Monday night. Coming back here, I need a Saturday dinner. Let's, let's probably do, we'll do some barbecue ribs. And then for Sunday lunch, we will do a brunch type of meal with pancakes. Pancake brunch, oops. Spelled brunch wrong. If you don't have these pins, got these pins on Amazon. They are erasable. I use them for meal planning just for this occasion. All right, so we have our pancake brunch. And then for lunches, I'll just plug in some stuff that we normally do. So if we do crispy tacos, if we don't have leftovers, then this is what I resort to. So Monday we did sausages, so I'll probably plug in mac and cheese. I always have that on hand. And then I'll do bean and cheese tacos here. I usually make those in bulk so I can just take them out of the freezer. And then Wednesday, I'm craving hamburgers. So we'll plug in some hamburgers there. And I have hamburger buns already. Okay, so this month switch threw me off. So I actually need to plan through here too. So we'll plug those in. Swedish meatballs is another family favorite. I get that recipe from Six Sister Stuff. I will link 
some of my favorite recipes down below if you're interested in any of these, but that is a good one. I do have to adapt it for Weight Watchers, but even without all the creams and sour cream, it's still delicious. But I'll let you know the notes I make for those. And we just serve those over mashed potatoes. I mean, we'll do a big mac salad here. My kids love Big Mac salad. It's basically a Big Mac cheeseburger, but without the bun. Sorry if you hear all the noise in the background. We live here. Steven's making lunch for the kids, so I can get some filming in. All right, we just made one more meal here, and then that's pretty much it. We will go ahead and just put mac and cheese. Usually I like to have extra of these taco bowls, so if we have leftovers, like I said, on any dinner, I plug those in. Okay, so that is my meal planning routine. Hopefully it wasn't too all over the place. It's kind of hard, you know, when you have a system to talk and do that at the same time. I'm not a very good multitasker when it comes to talking and doing something. So just ask my family. But anyway, this is kind of what the next two weeks for us looks like. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any Weight Watcher friendly recipes that you enjoy, please send those my way. I'm always looking for ideas to kind of change things up and kind of break us front away from our routine. I use skinnytaste.com a lot for my Weight Watcher recipes. The Weight Watchers app actually has a pretty good database of recipes. And so those are kind of my go-tos. Um, but yeah, anything that's specifically kid friendly, bonus points. I only make one meal for the whole family. Sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. Also, do you have any meal planning tips that you could recommend? Put those in the comment section down below also. I'm always willing to make it easier. We really appreciate those tips. And I almost forgot to mention, I have breakfast options that I keep on hand that include scrambled eggs, toast, cinnamon toast, bagels, oatmeal, cereal, milk, those kind of things. So I just keep stocked on our breakfast options. Kind of like I do our lunches. Anyway, I hope y'all have a blessed day. Say something kind to yourself, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Daddy, making mom tea. No. He's making me hot tea. I've already made her tea. Mm, thank you. Do you like my cup? Mama. Oh, it's not focusing. Shh, almost. This is usually my coffee cup, but today it's my tea cup. Mama loves mugs. Yes, I love mugs. I collect them. They bring me joy. She loves my mug. And I love your mug.